friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel and it has been a hot minute since I have put a video out and it's just been really busy and so I have not had a lot of time to do very many DIYs, um, although I have been working on some DIYs um, for an event, so I'll show you some of those at the end, but I also usually put out my Dollar Tree shop with me and haul video at the beginning of every month and I didn't even get that out. So um, I do however have a little clip to show you because we went on vacation to Branson, Missouri and I did go to a Dollar Tree in Springfield, Missouri and I did film while I was there and so I'm going to um, go ahead and shoot you over to that footage and then I'm going to come back and I'll announce the winner of the Dollar Tree mystery box from last month because I haven't even done that yet so um, I'm kind of playing catch up I hope you will bear with me and I'm sorry for not having a regular schedule of getting videos uploaded but you know, sometimes life just happens. So anyway, let's uh, go over to that footage of the Dollar Tree Shop with me in Springfield, Missouri. Hi friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I am in Springfield, Missouri. We are finishing up a family vacation and Chris and I are killing time before we go to the airport to catch our flight back to Idaho. So I'm going to go into a Dollar Tree store and just see how different it is from the ones I have in Idaho. So let's go check it out. So this actually looks like a pretty big store. Well, and it looks pretty neat. Oh, this is the first time I have ever been in a Dollar Tree Plus. This is different from Dollar Trees in my area. Those are cute. So there are a lot of fun items here and look at these little stools for $5. Those would be so cute in a like preteen girl's room. Oh, these signs are really cute. I like those. They have little knobs across the bottom and they're just $5 with cute sayings on them. Little galvanized trailers are cute for three dollars. The little trucks are a little boxy looking. And these wreaths are a great deal. Look how pretty those are for five dollars. Don't even have to DIY those. Looks like they have some character t-shirts as well as some stuffed animals and other toys. And they have some uh, good art supplies, larger easels and a watercolor paint kit and some larger embroidery kits too. They also have those large containers of gold flakes to use for like gold leafing for $3 as well as some uh, fun glitters. Oh, and look at that. That's a good deal. $5 for a tumbler spinner if you're into making your own tumblers. And not only do they have the larger canvases, they also have these wood boards to paint on or craft with. I love those. Look at the size of this basket. I really like this. I like that it has the handles on it. It makes it easy to carry with one hand. That's a nice size. They also have some fun porch leaner signs for 4th of July and summer. Those are just $5. And they even have some cute flip flops. And they actually have a little bit of a sole on them. They're not super flat. They're just $5. And these wreaths are really cute too for just $5. These are a good deal because you couldn't even buy the supplies to make them for that. Leaving the Dollar Tree Plus aisle, they still have a lot of their seaside um, nautical beach theme 
items out, including a few items that I haven't seen before, such as these little fabric bins. I mean, I've seen the bins before, but I haven't ever seen them in this pattern. That's really cute. They're also getting some new bee themed items. This is a cute little beehive shaped jar with a bee charm on it. That's really cute. This seems like a good deal to me too. This is a Dollar Tree Plus item, but $3 for a 10 light LED puck light that changes colors and has a remote control. That seems like a pretty good deal. This store had a lot of 4th of July and patriotic items still in stock, but of course as we get closer to the 4th of July, those are going to uh, start uh, dwindling out. So if you need things like that, be sure to uh, get there sooner than later. These headbands are something I haven't seen before, and they also had some little paint your own sun catcher craft kits. These would be fun for the kids to do on 4th of July. This adjustable laptop and tablet stand was just $1.25. I almost got that. And then they also had these little LED work lights and just some other gift ideas that would be good for Father's Day. I'm really liking this bee-themed dinnerware. They have the glasses and the cups, and then they have plates. They have placemats, but I really love these chargers. Those are very farmhouse looking. And they really do look amazing with those bee pattern plates. I'm kind of hoping I can find those when I get back to Idaho. And look, they have lemon dinnerware as well. Those towels are really cute. And I, I'm just really liking the, the fun yellow color for summer in the bees and the lemons. I just think it's really fun. Okay, so it figures that like the only time I can't buy anything and take it home and the store I go into is a Dollar Tree Plus store. First time I've ever been in a Dollar Tree that had a plus section. So I'm curious, let me know if your store has a Dollar Tree Plus section. Is it just one aisle? Is it usually bigger than that? This one just had one aisle, but it had some really fun things in it. But I'm just curious if uh, other stores have like larger sections or if it, that's pretty typical for a Dollar Tree Plus. So let me know in the comments. Well, that was really fun to see the Dollar Tree Plus section in a Dollar Tree store. We don't have those here in Idaho. We have family dollar stores instead that carry a lot of those same items, but it was still kind of fun to see those items in the Dollar Tree store. And it was a good thing that I couldn't bring anything home in my suitcase because I probably would have bought some things that I probably really didn't need, but it was still fun to see that. At the beginning of this video, I did tell you that I have been doing some DIYs that are a little bit different than normal, and that's because I've been getting ready for an event for Girls Ministries, and this was for first through fifth grade girls. It was a day camp, and it was a safari theme. So I've been making some safari-themed decorations, so I'm going to show you a few of those just for fun. I covered cardboard boxes with some brown shipping paper. I made some labels with using some stencils and I used wood grain duct tape and those crates came out so cute. I also used some brown shipping paper to roll and twist to make these vines and I added some silk palm leaves to those that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby and um, added those and it just makes the cutest little vines for these inflatable monkeys. I just thought this was so much fun. So if you need ideas for a safari themed birthday party for a child or grandchild, you might try some of these. And last, 
but not least, I need to announce who the winner of the May Dollar Tree Mystery Box is. And if you don't know uh, what this giveaway is, every month I give away a mystery box full of Dollar Tree items. I try to pick those hard to find things and put them in a box and I choose a random comment from the comments of my Dollar Tree haul video and I send that box out to one of you. So uh, the winner for May is Julie Swartwout. I hope I pronounced your name right, Julie. If not, I'm so sorry, but I will be sending a Dollar Tree box to you. And for the rest of you, if you would like to enter this month's giveaway, then be sure to leave a comment below on this video and I will be selecting a winner for June in my July Dollar Tree Shop With Me and Haul video. I know this video was a little bit different, but if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget and just DIYs in general, then be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be putting out more of those videos soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.